Once you've purchased the Hatch Corel Draw Gem and installed Corel Draw, you'll have this new graphics and convert icon in your embroidery mode toolbar. Select graphics and it switches you over to the brand new Corel Draw graphics user interface. This runs directly inside your Hatch software and you have access to all the software tools in Corel Draw to import, modify and create brand new graphics in Corel Draw. Now, in this example, I'm going to create a very simple applique design using some SVG graphics that I downloaded from the web. So I'm going to start off by first of all importing my SVG. And bring that straight into the graphics mode of Corel Draw. Now, this is just normal Corel Draw, so I've got full control to change the colors, reshape, modify the design. It's all the capabilities that you're familiar with graphic-based programs like CorelDRAW. But in this example, I'll leave it just as it is. But like I said, I want to turn this into an applique design. So what you can do inside the CorelDRAW graphics mode is select the object that you want to be an applique, in this case, this pink background here, and you can pre-tag it as an applique object. This now tells Corel Draw that when I convert this object to embroidery, convert it as an applique object. Now I select all the objects. Then I select the convert icon in the Corel Draw graphics mode screen. This will now take all those objects and convert them to embroidery. Now, because I specified that, that the uh, pink object was an applique object, it has automatically converted it to a true applique object. I have access to all the settings like I can do for any applique object, such as the tack down stitch. I can change it to be blanket. I can change it to be from pre-cut to trim in place, my stitch settings, and of course my effects and underlay settings as well. I've got full control. The main difference is I did not have to manually digitize that applique object Hatch did it for me. It took all those objects and converted them to embroidery. It took the smaller objects and converted them to run stitch as well. So again, I've got full control over all the settings and I can modify them to be any run type. Now I can select all those run stitches. Then I can come over to the edit object dialog box and I can convert them to red work. Now I have an applique design with red work run stitch on top. So let's go to Stitch Player and see exactly how this sews. Now, first of all, it comes along and does the placement stitch on that applicator to show exactly where that fabric has to go. Now it's coming around and doing the tack down stitch in a blanket stitch, just as I specified it. And finally, it's coming through and doing the cover stitch in the satin stitch again that I specified. And finally, it's finishing it off with that run stitch red work to give the outline and the detail of my bird applique design. And that's how you can import a graphic such as an SVG into CorelDRAW, tag it, and convert it to embroidery directly from the Hatch CorelDRAW gem.